Guess what time we dove Tugboat Beach? Christmas time. completed our first dive here, I couldn't wait to put this video together. From the biodiversity on the tugboat itself, to the drop-off just 50 feet away, to the even more dramatic pier supports that dwarf everything else underwater, this is the best Caribbean dive site we've seen so far, hands down. It has schools, lots of anemone, quite a few scorpion fish, and perhaps a few other things that you don't see on the average dive. The area above the water is also unique with its small but beautiful beach flanked on the left by sheer rocky cliffs and on the right by a large working ship dock. There is even a nice beach shack where you can spend a surface interval in the shade. I tell you, this site is awesome. If you want to dive Tugboat Beach and the pier, the next nine minutes are just for you. But before we get to the site logistics, you can help us grow. For free! If you don't already, consider subscribing to the Tropic Lens channel. How about giving this video a like? If you have a minute or so, send us a comment. This is our fifth shore diving video. What do you think? Is there a diver in your life that might be interested in diving Tugboat Beach? You could share this with them. The bottom line is we are trying to grow the channel and your participation and interaction really do help. Thanks. Smiley face. Tugboat Beach is located on the east side of Curaçao, along the southern coast. Unlike Aruba or Bonaire, which generally have a main road traversing the island, Curaçao has quite a few roads that get you to different parts of the island. So directions for Curaçao dive sites will start from the closest main road, which should be easily found on any car rental company provided or downloadable map. For Tugboat Beach, we will start on Caracas Bywag. Follow Caracas Bywag to the last roundabout and take the second exit. Stay on that, over the speed bumps, past the beach and take the first left turn. There is a little jog to the unnamed road to the right. Take a right at the fork in the road and then stay on the main path. At the next fork, go right again. Stay on that for a few hundred feet and you will arrive. The parking area is asphalt and while there are a couple of trees and buildings for shade, a late morning arrival means you may have a very warm car when you return. The parking lot can get crowded sometimes. Many people have small cars, but the occasional dive shop van or truck may force you to wiggle out. There are some benches and tables closer to the beach, but given the walk, it's generally easier to come with your gear already prepared or set up in the parking lot. There is only one entry point, a small beach. To get there, walk past the colorful shed, across the wooden deck, and down a short stairway. Once in the water, you will only have to take a few steps before putting on your fins. Then drop down and start looking around. There is plenty to see right from the start. The dive profile can vary a bit depending on how fast you swim and what you want to see. There are shallows, the tugboat wreck, a drop-off or a wall, a ledge, and a very large pier. 
You start and end in the shallows, which have a ton of interesting life. We saw squid on a couple of occasions. Loads of anemone, parrotfish, goatfish, and more. Follow the shallows to the left and you will reach the tugboat. Sitting in just 15 feet of water, it is full of life. Beyond the tugboat, the shallows give way to a drop-off, starting at about 20 feet. Here's a bit of what it looks like at various depths. When we visited, there was a fair amount of bleaching below 90 feet, primarily impacting the sheet coral. This is likely temporary and you may not see this when you visit. At the edge of the shallows, between the tugboat and the pier, is a small ledge or step. Sitting at 40 feet, it creates a little mini wall up to the shallows on one side and a larger, steeper wall to explore on the other. There are a couple of no diving near vessel signs on the pier. Our local guide said this is meant as protection for the boats and divers, as large vessels can be moving overhead. We were fortunate when we visited, as this ship was docked for months getting repairs, so it wouldn't be moving for a while. If you get the opportunity, grab a local guide and swim through. The sheer size of the chains, ropes, and pier columns is just amazing. To be sure, it can all be seen in one dive. But if you have watched more than a few of our videos, it won't come as a surprise that we suggest going slow and consider breaking it into a two-tank dive. Fish, cephalopods, crustaceans, corals, sponges, anemone, Tugboat Beach has something for everyone and lots of it. The night diving here is just as great, starting with the sunset against the rocky cliff overlooking the site, and it only got better underwater.